guys, I'm here in i one and I'm talking about the Xbox Series S. The Xbox Series S finally seemed to be confirmed. We got this video here. This seems official and everything, even though this is still a leak. See, I was watching BB Tech USA's video, and apparently, according to the CNET article, see, Brad Sams, a YouTuber and a reporter on the site, Thurot, has reportedly obtained an image of the long rumored Xbox Series S. So here's the video of it and compared to the Xbox Series X. And it actually looks pretty good. It doesn't seem to have a disk drive in the video and it has that black vent, which that looks weird. That does look weird in all honesty. But here's the thing. The price, estimated price, according to the bottom of the image there, says... $299. Now, according to a report from Windows Central, both consoles will release on November 10th. The more powerful Xbox Series X will cost $499 US, according to that report, right? Now, these aren't confirmed prices yet. Even on in this image, it says estimate. But, but if they are the real prices, this presents, I think, a conundrum. But that's a discussion for another video. Apparently, once again, according to the CNET article, Microsoft did not immediately respond to a request for comment, but did tweet this from their official Xbox account. Doesn't that kind of look like, hey, we've been caught? Yeah, yeah, you got us. Yeah, that's kind of like what, what that looks like. So this leak seems real. And if it is, I'm cool with it. I really think the Xbox Series S at this price would really compete with PS5. Why? Because the PS5 is just having an all digital edition and a physical disc edition, right? This would almost be in a league of its own. Why? Because I think they're going to really appeal to the fans who just want a cheap console to play their games and they don't need no disk drive. They don't need 4K. Maybe they still only have 1080p TVs. According to a Statistica, as of 2018, about 31% of U.S. households have 4K TVs. So that means probably around at least 65% of U.S. households still don't have 4K TVs. It may be more since we know as the previous Black Fridays have really gone down on the prices of 4K TVs. But still, I think there's a still good majority of people, even in the U.S., who don't own 4K TVs. And I think the U.S. is the lead when it comes to the amount of people who own 4K TVs. At least it was, I believe, back when the Nintendo Switch released in 2017. So I really think the fact that Microsoft is still kind of pushing to that non-4K market will help. Because I do think this is probably the last generation where you can really benefit, I think, from pushing to a non-4K TV market, at least in the U.S. Because a lot of people will be looking for just a cheap console to play their games on. And I think $299 is a really decent price. And I think Microsoft is pretty smart for doing this. But what do you guys think with, about the leaks and everything? And at this price, would you consider buying an Xbox Series S? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.